Hi everyone. In this video I am going to discuss a couple of options that are available to you when you are performing structural equation modeling using the Stata command syntax. And understanding these options can, can mean the difference between you obtaining meaningful output when you run your analysis and getting an error message. So the two options that I'm going to be talking about are the no caps latent option and the latent option. And both of these are described in the Stata user's guide, the SEM user's guide at this uh, link right here. And I will include uh, this link underneath my video description if you want to go to, go there to download a copy of the uh, SEM user's guide. So basically when you are uh, performing SEM using the command syntax, Stata is going to recognize those variables that begin with a capital letter as a latent factor and those variables that begin with a lowercase letter as an observed or manifest variable. Now oftentimes when we are creating our data sets and naming our variables we don't spend a whole lot of time thinking about whether or not we want our variable names to begin with an uppercase or a lowercase letter. But nevertheless when you're running your analysis in Stata using our command syntax it, it, it can actually make a difference in terms of whether or not you're able to get your output. So I'm going to provide a couple of examples uh, in this video where I run the run a couple of analyses with and without the correct uh, option uh, employed using syntax. And the data from this is based on the data that's associated with example 9 that is uh, provided through a link in the Stata user's guide. So the first example that I'm going to uh, cover is this path analysis right here you'll notice that I've got uh, powerlessness 66 and education 66 predicting anomia 66 and anomia 66 predicting anomia 71. So in the original data set the uh, powerlessness and anomia 66 and anomia 71 variables uh, began with a lowercase letter. So it was a lowercase p and then lowercase a in the latter two uh, circumstances. And you'll notice that basically in our path analysis uh, all of these variables are treated as uh, observed variables. Nevertheless, given that uh, three of our variables begin with a, an uppercase letter, it's going to confuse Stata and render an error message if we do not employ the correct option. The latter uh, example, this is a CFA model right here, and you'll see that we have Anomia 66 and Powerlessness 66 serving as uh, observed or manifest indicators of this alien 66 variable and then we have anomia 71 and powerlessness 71 serving as indicators of alien 71 and again for our observed variables I've got these uppercase letters for these three variables and then this one right here I'm just going to leave as lowercase so again if I don't employ the correct uh, option then I'm going to get an error message Okay, so here we are in Stata and I've imported the data and gone ahead and changed uh, the, the uh, first letter of these three variables right here uh, from a, a lowercase letter to an uppercase letter. And what I'll do for the demonstration is I'm going to go in under the do file editor uh, just by clicking on that button right there. And so here we are. And I'll begin with our path analysis model. And I'll uh, type that in into uh, the do file editor. So you'll notice we have SEM, that's our uh, command, and then inside the parenthesis I've got Anomia 71 with an arrow pointing to it. And then we have Anomia 66. Uh, in the next set of, in the next parenthesis I have Anomia 66 with an arrow uh, and we have Powerlessness 66 and Education 66 pointing uh, to it. And just keep in mind the arrow is just a less than sign followed by a hyphen. So re recall that our data set, these are observed variables in our data set right here. Nevertheless, because I'm going to run this uh, analysis you, without an option, it's going to generate an error message. So I'll highlight this and go to execute selection right there and you'll see that now it says 
model not identified, no paths from latent variable anomia 71 to observed variables. So you can see that we have our error message uh, that's given right here. But we can correct this particular problem very simply just by adding a comma and then we'll type in the option no caps latent. So this is very handy in those cases where you have a data set with, that's containing all um, observed variables, but you may have some variables in the data set that have uh, uh, cap that are have a first letter that's capitalized. So now when I highlight this and click on execute, I now get my output. So there it is right there. And then obviously I can request other uh, output as well. I can just type in estat, uh, gof, stats, and all right there. And that will get me my um, goodness of fit measures that you can see right here. Okay, so now let's run the CFA model. So I'm going to uh, just kind of go down another line in the do file editor and uh, put in the uh, CFA model. So you can see again we have our SEM command and inside parenthesis you can see I've got um, the Anomia 66 and Powerlessness 66. These are observed indicators of the latent Alien 66 factor. And you can see I've got my little arrow that's included right there. Uh, then over here we've got Anomia 71 and Powerlessness 71 with our arrow and then you can see that uh, we have our latent factor Alien 71 right there. So you can see throughout this uh, code right here we're again violating kind of the assumption that Stata holds regarding um, variable designations as uh, latent or observed based on whether that uh, first letter in a name is uppercase or lowercase. So now when I highlight this and uh, execute it, once again I get an error. It says model not identified, no paths from latent variable anomia 66 to observed variables. So in this particular case we can fix this by using the latent option where we specifically identify which variables in our model are latent variables. So I will now type in a comma and then uh, we'll follow it up with our latent uh, option that's given right here and inside the parenthesis I've got alien 71 and alien 66. So if I run this analysis right here you'll see that now I get my output. So uh, just a, a little finer point on this, um, you can see right here uh, this part of my uh, code is running off the page. Uh, if I want to um, wrap this around on the next line I can do that by uh, following up this uh, comma right here with a space and then three forward slashes right there and you'll see that they appear in green. So now if I highlight this and run it, uh, you can see that now everything works out fine yet again. So that's that's basically all there is to it in terms of using these two options. But like I said, you know, understanding when to use these uh, can can really make a difference between uh, an easy data analysis and getting a series of frustrating error messages. Okay, so that uh, wraps up this demonstration, and I appreciate you watching.